An FDLE report is revealing more details about the man who shot and killed two Gilchrist County deputies in April. tv 20s Brianna Villegas tells us what investigators found out about the killer's past. On April 19th, Sergeant Noel Ramirez and Deputy Taylor Lindsay were shot and killed by 59-year-old John Hynote. The deputies were sitting, eating at a Chinese restaurant in Trenton, when Hynote walked in with a Ruger Ranch rifle and began firing. It's been more than eight months knowing little about the man who shot and killed two Gilchrist County deputies and himself in April. Now a full FDLE report received first by TV20 through a public records request reveals a killer with a hatred of law enforcement. High notes writings found in his house and Jeep consist of racist ramblings and threats to law enforcement officers. According to the report, investigators also found several cameras, guns, and ammunition. The report notes more than 10 thousand photo files were found on memory cards on the shooter's property and in more than 200 photos he had a handgun or rifle in his hands also found inside his home shooting targets one with the words coward cops written on it while searching for the killer's criminal history investigators discovered a stalking report written in 2006 by the clay county sheriff's office noting high note had been stalking a woman he started dating the report also reveals interviews with high notes family members one of those with his sister the report shows his sister thought Hino applied for the Florida Highway Patrol. The report notes her saying, oh my God, he doesn't. They don't need him. He's too high strung for that stuff. The medical examiner's report shows High Note having alcohol in his system when he died, and a retracing of his route shows High Note likely sideswept a power pole on US 27 on his way to Trenton. The shooter also had the front desk phone number for TV 20 programmed as one of the five contacts in his phone, but the assigned name did not correspond with anyone who's ever worked at the station, and we don't know of any instances of High Note actually calling WCJB. And if you'd like to take a look at the full report, head to our website, WCJB.com. Reporting live in the studio, Brianna Villegas, TV20 News. We're finding out a lot more tonight about the possible motives of a killer. John Hino shot and killed two Gilchrist County deputies while they were eating lunch back in April. Now the FDLE report paints a picture of an angry man who hated law enforcement. Hino's writings, which were found at his home and in his Jeep, amount to racist ramblings and to threats to law enforcement officers. The report shows he called cops leeches and pigs, saying they're all evil, stupid, and lazy. The FDLE report concluded that Hino did not know or have previous run-ins with deputies Taylor Lindsay and Noel Ramirez before killing them as they ate in Trenton. The report also notes that Hino was spotted drinking beer in his Jeep outside Coleman Construction in Newberry earlier that same day. He had been fired for the construction company two and a half years prior. Coleman cited anger issues as the reason for letting him go. The medical examiner's report shows that Hino did have alcohol in his system when he died and a retreat Tracing of his route shows High Note likely sideswiped a power pole on US 27 on his way to Trenton. One last note, on this new FDLE report, the shooter did have the front desk phone number for TV20 programmed as a contact in his phone, but the assigned name did not correspond with anyone who's ever worked at the station, and we still don't know of any instances of High Note actually calling WCJB.